Well, hello there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Yaofusu, and today I'm going to talk about one of the biggest lies ever told in this world about something called the Middle East. The Middle East lie. All right, now, first thing I'm going to say is, Anybody that's educate, educated, anybody that got a little bit of education in this world knows that there is no such thing as a Middle East in this world. Okay? They call me Globe Master, by the way. There is no such thing called the Middle East in this world. It's a big lie. All right? Ask yourself this question. If there's a Middle East, where's the Middle North? Where's the Middle West? And where's the Middle South? It doesn't exist. Okay? All this, these countries in that territory called the Middle East is African land. All right? Any country in those territories, which is actually Northeast Africa, okay, that whole peninsula belongs to Africa. You will see people, the native people from those lands are people that look just like me. They are the original, original landowners, okay? Now, 90% of them were wiped out by invaders, but you still see remnants of them in what you call the Middle East today. All right? Now, let me give you a little historical facts. Now, I want you to do a little research on everything I'm about to say here, okay? The first thing we're going to talk about is called um, the Berlin Conference. Now, during the year, the years um, 1884 through 1885, 14 European nations met in Berlin to divide Africa like a piece of, like, how, how can I put it? Like, like a pie of pizza. They divided it into slices. Hey, England could take the hair. Um, the French could take this, the Portuguese could take that, the Spanish, the Germans, the Dutch. It's, it's a whole lot. They divided Africa like a piece of pie or, 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 or a round pizza among themselves. Okay? Now, let me, let me actually name the countries that divided Africa. So, you know what I'm talking about. It's not BS. All right? The first... The greatest of all, of all, all the devils, is Britain. Then comes France, Germany, the Austria-Hungary, Belgium, Denmark, Italy, Netherlands, Spain, Portugal, Russia. Even though Russia really didn't pursue into taking any land from Africa, Sweden, Norway. And the Ottoman Empire, okay, the Ottoman Empire, what is now Turkey, most most Turkish and, and Persians, okay. Now, I didn't know much about 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 the Ottoman Empire or or about the Middle East until I had a transit, I had a flight through Dubai and um, during my transit I had um, I think so, it was about a six hour layover in Dubai and I, in Dubai airport I saw this this beautiful black woman possibly the most the most beautiful black woman I've ever seen okay her skin is like four shades darker than I am 
for the first thing I thought was, I thought she was from Kenya. Cause she was, oh my God, she was, she was beautiful. So I was staring at this lady. She was sitting across from me. I kept taking sneak, sneaky stares at her. And then I, for about, about an hour, I was just sitting there, you know, observing things and looking at this woman. And then she caught me looking at her. And so she waved me. She, she went like this. And I was like, oh damn, what do I do? So I walked over to her and she said, sit down. So I sat next to her and she said, what's your name? I said, my name is Michael. She said, where are you from? I said, I'm from New York, but um, I have origins from Ghana. Oh, he said, oh, she said, oh, Africa. And I said, yes. And she said, we are all Africans. And I said, yeah, of course. I, I know you're African just by looking at you. And she started laughing. She said, where do you think I'm from? What, what part of Africa do you think I'm from? So, so I said, I, I bet you $100 you are from Kenya. And she was like, you, you really want to go there? You really want to bet me money? And I was like, no, no, I don't want to bet you money, but you definitely look like you're from Kenya. Because, you know, you got that Kenyan face. So she started smiling. And she said, what if I tell you I'm not from what is called today Africa at all? And I was like, what? What, what do you mean? And she's like, she said, have you ever heard of a country called Jordan? And I said, yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard of Jordan. I know it's somewhere here in the Middle East. And she said, yes, that's where I'm from. Okay, I'm from Jordan. And I, I was shocked. I was like, wow. Because back then, I wasn't, I wasn't very enlightened about our ancestors living in that part of the world or coming from that part of the world. So for, so for about two hours, this lady was patiently schooling me on how the entire Middle East belonged to people that looked like her and me. Okay? 90% of the people living in what is called the, the entire Middle East today are invaders. Okay? These people came, they are Persians and Europeans that ganged up on Africans, slaughtered, slaughtered us, left just a few remaining of our people in those lands who became slaves practically. Okay? Now, the lady's name is, I asked her, well, what is your name? And she said, her name is Fatma. And I was like, Fatma? And I was like, wow. And she said, I know you, you Americans will say Fatima, but it's Fatma. And I was like, oh, Fatima. Okay, Fatma. All right, all right. This, this, this lady was beautiful. Okay, so now, the thing that was, shock, that was pretty shocking to me is, is her accent her accent was very Arabic, very Arabic accent. She, she was just the most exotic black woman you can ever see. Her skin is dark and it, it, it's like it shines. Man, enough about Fatima. Now, I'm going to share some of the things that Fatima told me during our conversation. Okay. Now, I took some notes while she was talking. These are some of the things she told me. The first thing she, she, she told me was that anywhere, any land, any land that's west, listen to this very carefully, any land that is west of the Euphrates River belong to people that look like her and me, black people, okay? The Euphrates is what separated the Africans from the Asiatic Persians. This is a fact. Okay, now on the north, of course, the Mediterranean and the Caucasoid 
mountains or the, what, you, what you, today you call the Caucasus Mountains. That's what separated us black people from the Europeans in the north. Okay? Now, these are the natural borders. Okay, so... During... Um, this is from my own research here. During 1916... 1916, which is a whole lot of years after after um, they divided Africa, which is 1884. 1916, Britain all held the queen. Great Britain and France, Sacre Bleu, you know, those people. After, after World War I, they divided what is what was called the Ottoman Empire. Now, let me go a little back to the Ottoman Empire. These are the Persians, which are now Turkish and other parts of Eastern Europe. These people had defeated our ancestors in northeastern part of Africa which is now called the Middle East, okay? All, the, all those areas, including North Africa, including Egypt, were called, was, was part of the Ottoman Empire, all right? Now, after World War I, the Ottoman Empire lost its, its power with Germany, so, Pretty much England and France divided the Ottoman Empire into se several several sectors, just like they did in Africa, between themselves. Okay? And that's what led to them calling it the Middle East. Okay, so it was the English and the French that named that Peninsula, which is now called the Middle East, Middle East. It was part of the Ottoman Empire, which was really, literally, Africa, our land. Okay? Now, during the, um, the division of the Ottoman Empire, they took some countries, you know, some parts and added it to Europe. And, and you know, these became countries like on today's map, these countries are like um, Bulgaria, Hungary, Macedonia, Romania. They were all added to Europe. Okay. Now they are they are Eastern European countries, but they were part of the Ottoman Empire. All right. Let's move on. Now, when they divided the Ottoman Empire, sections became different different countries. The largest of them being Saudi Arabia. All right, now, what I can say about the Ottoman Empire is, I'm gonna name the countries that became the Ottoman Empire after World War I, after the French and the, and the Brits, divided that empire okay now like i said saudi arabia is the largest of, of of them all right now you have um what is now uae united arab emirates with the beautiful dubai dubai is africa okay what is now lebanon is africa syria jordan where Fatma is from, Bahrain, Qatar. If you live in Qatar, you you are you are living on African land. Okay, Kuwait, Oman, Israel, Iraq, Yemen, Palestine. 
all these nations that I've, I've just named is African land. So if you live on any of these nations, you are just a squatter living on African land. Don't let the Europeans fool you, man. Ask yourself a question. If you live in Saudi Arabia, do you see blacks over there? Do you see African, African blacks that claim they are Saudi Arabians? Where do you think they're from? That is their, their motherland they're living on. Even though 90, probably, probably 95% of them were wiped out by the Persians, a few, a few of them, a tiny minority of them were left to be slaves and the ancestors are still living there today. Any country, any country in the, the so-called Middle East, go to Qatar, you will find people that look like me that are from Qatar. They are, their, they are on their motherland. Okay, Kuwait, anywhere, Bahrain. Let me tell you something. Anywhere, anywhere, pa Palestine, go to Palestine, Israel. you find people that look like me. They are the original land owners. Okay? Anybody that live in that, anybody that don't look like you or me, that live on in these countries are squatters. Okay? Now, you could think you are oil tycoon and this vast lands belong to you. You you are a squatter. I'm I'm telling to your face, you don't own that part of of the world. You you are just a squatter living on African land. All right. Now, we all know that our race, the African Negroid race, have lost practically half of our lands to, to other, other people throughout history. Within the past 2,000 years, black people have lost more than half of our, our, our natural land to other races. It's a fact. Do research and you'll find out what I'm talking about. And it's still happening today. Look, I have traveled around the world, okay? There are people that look like me. Go to Australia. Australia Australia is, the, is, is, is about the size of the entire 50 states of the United States of America. That's how large Australia is. The natural habitats, the, the people that own the land, they are black people. They call them Aborigines. The darkest people, the darkest skinned people you could ever see in the world. They are in Australia. They are not even living in Africa. They are, they are our people. Okay, now, not all black folks are skinned folks, okay? Because look, if, look, look, look on our continent, Africa. Somebody living in East Africa, for example, a Somalian or Ethiopian, don't look nothing like somebody living in East Africa. I mean, in West Africa, like like somebody from Senegal or, or or Nigeria. Okay, somebody living in the the squatters, the squatters invaders living in in Tunisia or or Algeria. They don't look nothing like somebody living in South Africa or Zimbabwe. You understand what I'm saying? We have lost a lot of our land. To invaders all right look I've been to the Philippines the natural the natural land owners of the Philippines are people that look like you and me okay they are called ITAS they are the natural land owners their population is probably less than 1% of the Philippines today we have lost our lands to other people in this world in, in this world here okay look go to in, indonesia indonesia do you know how much land we've lost to the asiatic people go, papua new guinea one humongous island they've split it in two and given half of it to the asians now called 
Indonesia. Okay? Now, I don't even want to talk about Indonesia because it's going to take too long. I'm going to have to make another video about other parts of the world which black people have lost land. All right? Now, the Middle East, the so-called Middle East, is a myth. Okay, the so-called Middle East is entirely, I repeat, entirely African land. Okay, thanks to the, thanks to the, the British and the and the French. Now, invaders are calling it their land, and actually punishing people that look like you and I on lands that actually belongs to us. Now, we gotta, we gotta wake up. One, one thing I can say is what goes around comes, comes around. And no matter what, even if it take thousands of years, when you take land from somebody, some way, somehow, the land will return back to its what? Original owners. So all you people living in the Middle East thinking it's your land, you, you are living a fantasy. Someday, the original landowners will reclaim their land. Okay, it's just like in Africa, North, the entire North Africa has been taken over by, by invaders. The entire northern part of Africa. And the, the shit that pissed me off is during the, the Berlin conference, the Europeans gave them huge, huge parts of land in Northern Africa. But anyway, most of it is desert, wasteland. So they could have it for now. When the time, when, when is the right time? Black people will, will reclaim back our land because if you don't look like me or darker than me and you live on that continent, and what is called now, what, what is now called the Middle East, you are nothing but a squatter. All right? Go to North Africa and you, you see what I'm talking about. From Morocco to, to what? Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt. These lands, massive, massive lands, is occupied by people that don't look like us on our continent committing atrocities on people that look like us but God has a way for us I know that for sure alright when it comes to Africa like, like for example North Africa Call an Egyptian, well, the so-called Egyptians today, call, call an Egyptian African. He will say, oh, I, I, am, I am an Arab. I am a, I'm, I'm, I'm Middle Eastern. I'm, 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 I'm well, well, yeah, that's what he'll say. I'm, I'm, I'm Arab. I'm Middle Eastern. I'm not African. But when it comes to football, when it comes to soccer, hey, we're Africans. Sons of bitches. I'm going to end it here. My name is Yao Fusu. I'm your globe master. I want you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Share it. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. All right? I got lots of videos coming your way. I love you. Take good care of yourself. God bless you. And cheers.